Good afternoon, everyone, and greetings from the White House. My name is Anne Neuberger, and I'm the United States Deputy National Security Advisor for Cyber and Emerging Technologies. While I'm disappointed that I cannot be with you today in Tallinn, I am pleased to be able to join you virtually and share our thoughts on what we have learned with regard to cybersecurity from the Russian further invasion of Ukraine and how we can work together to achieve our digital goals. We know that we must address the most pressing issues of today and tomorrow together, and that we'll, we will be best postured to capitalize on new opportunities on our road toward a connected digital future if we take a productive and coordinated approach. The Tallinn Digital Summit is a great place to coordinate on these important topics, and we appreciate Estonia's role as a leader globally bringing together these important conversations where we can explore and strategize on how to advance our shared priorities. The war in Ukraine has reinforced the value of three words beginning with the letter P. Preparation, private sector, and partnership, particularly international partnership. Regarding preparation, one of the most impactful steps that Ukraine took was the work it did to dramatically improve the security of its energy grid, the cybersecurity of its energy grid, in the period between 2015 and 2022, leveraging the support of the United States, other international partners, and the private sector. And that fundamental decision to disconnect from the Russian grid and reconnect to the European grid to maintain that resilience. That degree of preparation and active work over a series of years was a key part of the Ukrainians' ability to defend their energy grid. Our second P, regarding the private sector. I recall that first evening of Russia's further invasion when we were contacted by a private sector firm who had seen first evidence of destructive malware that they were concerned would be deployed. We rapidly connected that firm with other international government partners, and they were able to use their technical global capability to push out cybersecurity protections, not only in Ukraine, but to systems around the world. That global reach and that partnership between governments and private sectors is critical to our effective global cybersecurity. And finally, with regard to the third P, international partnership, we think about the partnership in enforcing international cyber norms and the steps we took together regarding attribution, for example, of Russia's cyber attack against satellite infrastructure in the first days of its further invasion of Ukraine. The reason we, the United States, the European Union, international partners, thought it was important to both attribute that activity and attribute it among a large group of partners was because that is the way we see to enforce international cyber norms, voluntary norms, which remain nascent. International partnership in cyberspace security is integral on the strategic level. First, Working together reinforces the trust that underpins the global internet, the trust that enables online commerce and the sharing of ideas across countries and cultures. Second, malicious actors use similar techniques. By sharing information, we learn from each other about emerging threats and how to thwart them. And finally, engagement is needed, as I noted, to build and promote norms and practices, as we have in other domains, to maintain international stability, promote respect for international law, and prevent conflict. There is work in each of our countries that we are doing to relentlessly focus on securing our infrastructure, our water systems, our power systems, our pipelines at home. That's why we are working to develop a NATO coordination mechanism to better enable allies to help allies in their time of need. While these capabilities will support cyber deterrence, we must also ensure there are appropriate consequences in place for malicious cyber actors who do not respect norms of responsible behavior. Last year, we saw important endorsements at the United Nations 
of a framework of responsible state behavior in cyberspace in peacetime. But these norms are only impactful if they are implemented, and we must all work together to focus on accountability. We are all in this together. The challenges we face today require closer and faster cooperation than ever before. And we know that pace will only continue to quicken. We must work together with urgency and at all levels, across sectors. I look forward to advancing our collective goals in this way. Thank you and be well.